Hello everyone, um, my name's Victoria and this is the very first um, live stream of Saturday Club for Children and um, I'm really looking forward to um, spending time with you every Saturday morning and I'm really looking forward to being able to teach you about the life of Joseph and what that tells us about Jesus' life. Now we've started a little bit early to give people a chance to join. Um, now I know that um, when if you used to go to Pastor Alan's live streams in um, that he did with Lausanne Free Church, then um, Pastor Alan used to play music while we were waiting. Um, unfortunately, my laptop doesn't have a very good microphone, so I have to use this, and um, I can't actually play music because it would come through my headphones and you wouldn't be able to hear it. So I'm just going to have a little chat with you. While we're waiting for people to join, I'm going to have a little chat so that um, we can wait for some people to join us. So my name's Victoria. I go to a church called Providence Chapel in Chichester, which is a very old building. There's been a church there for over 200 years. And um, we're quite a small church, but we do have some children. So I'm hoping that soon some of those children will come along to join us. Um, and uh, I'll say hello to everyone in a minute. But um, I thought I'd have a chat with you while we were waiting. So uh, I can see that we've got two people come already. So I can see we've got, oh, we've got someone called Paula Hill joining us. I can't think who Paula Hill might be. She might be my mum. <laughs> so hello, Paula. Hello, mummy. Um, thank you for joining me. And uh, yes, we'll see if anyone else comes along to join us soon. Now, if you see me looking over like this, that's because I have two computer screens. So I'm very high tech. I've got um, two screens set up so that I can see different things at different times. Um, because this is my job at the moment, that I spend a lot of time online doing live videos um, uh, within my job. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. So uh, it's now, uh, we've got about eight minutes until the Saturday Club starts, but we've gone live a little early. So um, I wonder what you've been doing this week. Um, I've been um, in my garden and um, I don't have a very big garden. I have a a patch outside the fr my front window and it's probably about slightly bigger than a single bed um, and uh, it's at the beginning of this week it was full of weeds because the last person to live in this house they were supposed to weed the front garden and they didn't and there were weeds and some of them nearly came up to my waist so there were quite big weeds with, de with deep roots but um, I live in England and it was a holiday on Monday so I spent some time out in my garden and I sat down and I um, dug out all of the weeds in my garden. So uh, that's what I've been doing um, this week. And it made me really think, actually, the Bible says that weeds um, are a result of the fall when Adam and Eve sinned. And it made me think about how weeds remind us of sin and that, you know, you have these weeds and um, you really have to work hard to digging them out. But the thing is, I know that I'm going to have to keep going back to that garden and I'm going to have to keep on looking out for weeds because otherwise they'll grow back in again. So, um, yeah, that's what I've been doing this week. I've been doing some weeding. Now, I can see that some other people have joined us yet. So hello, everyone. Um, if you want to say hello to me in the comments, that would be lovely so that I know that you're watching. Um, and if you want me to greet you by name, that would be lovely to say hello in the comments. Like, nice to see you all. My name's Victoria and I'm doing this Saturday Club. Um, for children and we're going to start the Saturday Club proper in about seven minutes time um, but uh, right now we're just having a chat about general things so I've got uh, some things to show you I've been doing some crocheting over the last couple of weeks and uh, I wonder if you can guess what I've been crocheting so um, here's part of it and uh, this part's quite heavy because it's got some um, dried peas in the bottom. So that's one part. That was the first part I made. And uh, I made this. Um, two colours, as you can see. Maybe it's some legs. I don't know. Maybe it's some antennae. Um, you'll have to see if you can guess what I've been making. And then I've made one of these, and I wonder if you can guess how many of these I need to make. I'll give you a clue. I need to make more than one. So there's one of these, and um, they've all got stuffing in them. And uh, yes, I wonder if you can guess what I've been 
making over the last couple of weeks. I wonder what you've been doing. I don't know whether Josiah and Reuben and Joel have joined us yet, but I know that Josiah and Reuben and Joel, who often join this, I know that they have been, um, they went down to the beach one day this week and I saw a lovely photo that their mum had posted. It didn't have them in it, but it was a lovely photo. There was green grass in the foreground and then in the background there was the blue sea and then there was a, a part of some land so I think they must have been in a bay because I could see a bit of land and then there was a lovely blue sky and the sky was so blue and the sea was so blue they almost looked like the same colour and you almost couldn't quite see where the sky ended and the sea began so that was a, a lovely photo that I saw so I hope you had a nice time Josiah and Reuben and Joel and um, I know we've got some other children who are going to be joining us um, soon. Oh, I see that Irina and Sonia are joining. Hello, Irina and Sonia. I have met you, although I don't think that you remember me. I'm Pastor Alan's daughter. So it's very nice that you're joining. And I didn't realise you lived in Greer. I've been to Greer. I, uh, I went there on a trip with a friend and uh, we got stuck up a mountain because we didn't realise that the, um, the buses didn't come back didn't run very frequently and we had to walk all the way down from the mountain and we were wearing sandals and we got huge blisters on our feet um so that's what i remember from Gruyere, and it was very frustrating because i love cheese but we couldn't have any cheese because i'm not supposed to eat cheese um but uh oh i'm told that the sound is quite low let's um see if i can sort that out is that better um, I do have problems with my um, mic. I'm yeah, I'm using the right microphone, so I don't know whether that's any better. Um, thank you for letting me know. Um, if you could let me know if that sounds a bit better now. Um, but uh, oh, now which way goes up? That way is as loud as I can get it. So I do hope that that's better um but uh, i do have a problem with my microphone um but on my laptop so that's where i have to wear a headset so just got a couple more minutes now so um thank you for letting me know that i had a sound problem it would have been a bit of a pain if i'd um, gone through the whole of this um daily bread and the sound hadn't been right so um i don't know whether anyone else has joined us but uh if you have it's lovely to see you and um we're going to be starting in just a few minutes time now i've got some names here of people who might be joining us so i'm very much hoping that reuben and josiah and joel are watching hello boys do you remember me i haven't seen you for so long so it'd be really good to see you all and uh hope that you're enjoying it and uh and then i don't know whether brandon and Jaden and layla your cousins whether they're going to be joining us too um that would be um that, that would be really really nice if they could join us and then in london i know that we've got isaac and daniel and luke and noah four boys whose names all come from the bible um and uh yeah really hope that you're able to join us too and then also in london i know we've got finley and bethany um i know your mummy and daddy and i hope that you're able to watch us too and uh and then in Switzerland, I know we've got Irina and Sonia and uh, and I'm hoping that Michaela and Matthias might be able to join us. Do you know your mum does such wonderful things with you, Michaela and Matthias? I watch it. I watch it on Facebook and I think, wow, their mum does such amazing things with them. You're really lucky to have a mum like that. And then I don't know whether Jamie is watching and your little sister, Emily, might be a little too young to watch, but uh you know, I hope maybe she's there with you in the room. So hello, Jamie. Hello, Emily and Jesse and Lena. I don't know whether you're watching also in Switzerland. A lot of people from Switzerland and Nina. And then going a bit further away, there's Joffiel and Kate all the way in Luxembourg. I do hope that you're able to watch. And in France, there's Luke and Julia. Bonjour, Luke. Bonjour, Julia. Ça va? I hope that you're able to watch. And then further away still in India, I don't know whether Paul is still watching. And then, of course, all the way in Australia, I need to shout for this one. Hello, Ryan. All the way in Australia. Do you know, Ryan, I went to school with your mum. 
a very long time ago now. Now, I've just seen that Alan thinks that I'm making a rabbit. And if anyone was watching, we were having a guess what I was making. So there's part of it. And here's another part. And there's going to be several of these. And Alan thinks that I'm making a rabbit. Well, I'm not going to tell you today. But if you come back next week, I'll show you how far I've got. And maybe you'll get a better idea of what it is that I'm going to make. Now. It's half past nine now, so it's time for the Saturday Club to start. So I do hope that you've been able to join us. And if you're just joining us, hello. This is Saturday Club brought to you by Providence Chapel in Chichester. My name's Victoria. I'm a Sunday school teacher. And it's really good to have you joining us um, here at Saturday Club. And uh, we're going to start off by praying. So can you um, put your hands together and close your eyes? And we're going to pray. Dear God, thank you for this lovely sunny day. Thank you for all of the good things that you give us. The sunshine and clothes to wear and food to eat and families to love us. Thank you most of all for your word, the Bible, where we can learn about you. And we do pray that you will help us to learn more about you and about Jesus as we study the Bible today. Amen. And I've just seen that some people are watching over at Lausanne Free Church. Hello, Gwen and Paul and Mary. Good to see you there too. So we're going to start off by singing a song. And it's a song that I hope that you all know. But I need to remind myself of the words. And uh, let me see. It's my God is so... I can't remember the last word. Is it my God is so strong? Is that the first thing we say? No? Um, my God is so, oh, I know it's my God is so big. And then it's my God is so strong. And then it's my God is so mighty. So it's my God is so big, so strong and so mighty. You ready? My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are his, the rivers are his, the stars are his handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but I got a bit muddled up there. I did mountains and rivers, and that's not the right way around, is it? So I think we need to sing it again just so that I can get better at it. And when you get to big, I want you to say big as loudly as you can. My God is so big. Can you do that? Are you ready? My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big. So strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are his, the rivers are his, the stars are his handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. Very good. Right, now. We're going to learn a memory verse now. And uh, it's one that comes from the Bible. And it comes from the first book of the Bible. And I wonder if you know what the name of the first book of the Bible is. Is it Matthew? No. Is it Psalms? No. The first book of the Bible is Genesis and our memory verse comes from the first book of the Bible and it's about the man that we're going to be learning about in Saturday Club and our memory verse is and the Lord was with Joseph and it comes from Genesis chapter 39 and verse 2 and we've got some actions to help us learn it. So we've got and the Lord. And we point up to up in the air to remind us that God is in heaven and the Lord. 
was with. So you clench your hands together like this, with. And then Joseph, make a J and then clench your fist. So are you ready? And the Lord was with Joseph. One more time. And the Lord was with Joseph. And this time I'm going to do the actions and I want you to say it. Are you ready? Very good. OK, so see if you can learn that this week. And I know that some of you write these memory verses down in a book. And that's a really good thing to do, to write them down to help you remember them. Now, I'm hoping that your mum and your dad were able to print out some um, sheets that I sent to them. And uh, you're going to need some of them now. Because I wonder if when you're on a car journey, you ever look out of the window and look at the road signs. There are so many of them and they tell the person driving the car all sorts of things. So let's see how much you know about road signs. And you should have two sheets. Here's one with lots of red signs on. And here's another with lots of blue signs on. So I wonder, can you tell me? If your mum and dad are driving the car along the road and they see a sign that says stop, which is the sign that tells them to say stop? Is it this one? No. Is it this one? No. Which is the sign that says stop? If you go to school and you're good at reading, you'll be able to work this out. That's right. It's oops, this one. Stop. That's the stop sign. OK, what about if you're driving along the road and you're looking for somewhere to park the car? I wonder if you can guess which one tells you whether to park the car. And I'll give you a clue. Think about the sound that park starts with. When you're looking for a car park, you're looking for something that begins with a p, a p. Can you see? That's right. The car park sign is this one. Now, I wonder if you can tell me if you're driving along the road and you see a sign that warns drivers that there are children around. Maybe it's near a school or something like that. Which sign warns the drivers that there are children around? Is it this one? No, that doesn't have any children on. It's this one, isn't it? There's a sign that warns drivers that there are children around. So there are all different road signs. And I'm going to tell you what some of the other ones do. This one tells your mum and dad how fast they can drive. And what does this one do? Oh, we've done that one. This one. That's right, that one tells people that people are crossing the road nearby. And I wonder if you know what this one does. This one here. It's round and it tells people that there's a roundabout. And what about this one? This one's a really useful one. If you're going on a long journey and your tummy is rumbling and you're hungry, this one tells you that there is a restaurant ahead. And this one, what does this one tell you? It tells you that people need to turn. So road signs are really useful if you're a driver because they tell you where to go. And um, I'm hoping that in this Saturday Club, we're going to be learning about someone else who was a sign, but he wasn't a road sign. He was someone who was a sign pointing to Jesus and his name was Joseph. But before we have a story about Joseph, here he is, we're going to have a song about him. Now, I've given your mum and dad the song and it's a long song and we're going to learn one verse every week. And I've turned all of my sheets into a book and maybe your mum and dad might want to do the same. So today we're going to learn the first verse which tells us all about Joseph. And there's Joseph in his coloured coat. And it goes like this. Come and hear the tale of Joseph. 
come and hear the tale of Joseph, come and hear the tale of Joseph and what God did for him. So it's very easy to learn because you sing one ver line three times and it goes like this. Come and hear the tale of Joseph. Come and hear the tale of Joseph. Come and hear the tale of Joseph and what God did for him. I hope that was easy. Shall we sing it one more time? Come and hear the tale of Joseph. Come and hear the tale of Joseph. Come and hear the tale of Joseph and what God did for him. Now, if I flick through the book, you'll see we've got lots of other verses to learn. And we'll be learning one verse every week until we learn the whole thing. Right now, in Saturday Club, all of our stories come from the Bible. I wonder if you know how many books there are in the Bible. I know Josiah and Reuben know because we often talk about it in Sunday school in our chapel. But maybe I've forgotten. It's been so long since we had a Sunday school at chapel. Josiah and Reuben, can you remember how many books there are in the Bible? And anyone else who knows, can you say it nice and loud so that I can hear? Are there 10 books in the Bible? No, there's more than 10. Are there 20 books in the Bible? No, there's more than 20. The Bible has 66 books. And here, on here, I've put the names of all 66 books in the Bible. But even though there are 66 books in the Bible, the Bible tells one big story, the story of God's plan to send Jesus. And today's story comes right from the first book of the Bible, Genesis. And here it is. It's the first book of the Bible. And I'm going to read part of the story to you now. It's Genesis chapter 37. I'll put that down. Genesis chapter 37. Now, Israel loved Joseph more than all his children because he was the son of his old age and he made him a coat of many colours. And when his brethren saw that their father loved him more than all his brethren, they hated him and could not speak peaceably to him. And Joseph dreamed a dream, and he told it his brethren, and they hated him yet the more. So I'm going to just read part of the story there, but that tells us that Joseph was the son of someone whose name was either Israel or Jacob. He had two names, and Joseph's father was Jacob, and his mother was Rachel and Joseph lived a very long time ago. Lots of things happened to Joseph. Some of them were good. Some of them were bad. But God was with Joseph. That's what our memory verse says, isn't it? And the Lord was with Joseph. Can you remember the actions? And the Lord was with Joseph. Now, Joseph lived a long time before Jesus was alive. His story is told in a part of the Bible called the Old Testament. And some people think that the Old Testament can't teach us anything about Jesus. But actually, the Old Testament teaches us lots about Jesus. The Old Testament is full of stories which point us to Jesus. Some of the people who lived in the Old Testament are like signs. We were talking about signs just now. And here's a street sign. But I've put the word Jesus on it. And some of the people in the Old Testament are like signs pointing to Jesus. Their lives show things about what Jesus would be like when Jesus came. And Joseph is one of these people. His life points to Jesus. We're going to learn about Joseph and we're going to learn what Joseph shows us about Jesus. 
Our story happened when Joseph was 17 years old. Joseph lived in a tent with his father Jacob and his 10 big brothers and his one little brother. How many brothers did Joseph have altogether? I'm not very good at maths, you might have to help me. Was it eight? No. Let me think. Was it 12? No. Say it nice and loudly so I can hear. That's right. Joseph had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven brothers. What a big family. Jacob had married four ladies, Leah, Bilhah, Zilpah and Rachel. Jacob had loved Rachel the best, but she died when Joseph's little brother Benjamin was born. Now Joseph was Jacob's favourite son. And Jacob loved Joseph so much, he gave him a special coat. A coat of many colours, a multi-coloured coat. But remember what our Bible reading said, Joseph's brothers hated him. And they hated him because Joseph was different from his brothers. His brothers were cruel and unkind men. They didn't love God and they didn't keep God's good laws. But Joseph loved God, just like his father Jacob loved God. Jacob had taught Joseph all about God, how God is with people who love him and how God looks after them. Joseph was different from his brothers and they hated him. They hated Joseph because Joseph had told their father Jacob about their bad behaviour and how they did not keep God's good laws. They hated Joseph because their father loved Joseph best and had given him that multicoloured coat. And they hated Joseph because of the dreams he had. What a funny reason to hate someone because of their dreams. But this was a special kind of dream. It was the kind of dream that came from God. God doesn't speak to people in dreams today because we have the whole Bible. But when Joseph was alive, they didn't even have one book of the Bible. So God often spoke to people in dreams. And Joseph had two of these dreams. In the first dream, Joseph dreamt that he and his brothers were in the fields making sheaves of corn. Joseph had a sheaf of corn and each of his 11 brothers had a sheaf of corn. Joseph dreamt that his sheaf of corn stood up straight and tall and that the 11 sheaves of corn stood in a circle around his sheaf and bowed down to his sheaf of corn. That was an unusual dream. I've never had a dream last like that. Last night I dreamt about trains, but I've never had a dream about sheaves of corn bowing down. But that was Joseph's dream and Joseph knew that this dream was from God. And so Joseph wanted to tell his family about it. And Joseph told his mothers about the dream that they had had. But they were angry. They thought, Joseph is saying that one day we're going to bow down to him. We're never going to do that. And they got angry and they hated him. Then Joseph had another dream. And in this dream, Joseph dreamt that the sun and the moon and 11 stars all bowed down to him. And Joseph thought, that was a strange dream. I must tell my brothers and my parents about that dream. So he did. And Joseph's family thought they knew what it meant. They thought that Joseph's dream meant that one day Jacob and his wife and all 11 of Jacob's sons would bow down to Joseph and that Joseph would rule over them. Now, Jacob thought carefully about these dreams. He thought, these dreams come from God and I must know more about these dreams and I must really think about them. But Joseph's brothers 
hated Joseph because of the dreams that God has given him. And they said, will you really rule over us? Now, Joseph was only 17, but he showed that he loved God by what he did. He hated sin and was brave and told his father when his elder brothers got broke God's good laws. He was patient and didn't get cross when his brothers were unkind to him. He loved God and believed that God was speaking to him in his dreams. And he told his family about it so they could think about what God had said too. Do you remember? I said that Joseph's life pointed to Jesus. Let's see that that's true. Do you have your yes, no cards? Right. Let's see. Let's see if you know about Jesus. Did Jesus show he loved God by what he did? Is that yes or no? Yes, Jesus did. Jesus showed that he loved God by what he did. Did Jesus hate sin? Yes or no? Which one is it going to be? Yes, you're right. Jesus hated sin. Here's a harder question. When Jesus was alive, did his brothers love God like he did? What do you think it is? It's no. Jesus' brothers didn't love Jesus. Now, what about the next question? Did Jesus tell everyone he met about God? and share the good news God had given him? Yes, of course he did. Did Jesus' family believe the messages Jesus gave them from God? No, they didn't, not at first. So Joseph shows us what Jesus is like. Like Jesus, Joseph loved God. Like Jesus, Joseph hated sin. And like Jesus, he told people he met the messages God saved them, sent him. Joseph was very young, but he loved God and God was with him. Remember our memory verse. And the Lord was with Joseph. You don't have to be a grown up to love God and do things that please God. The Bible says that Jesus loves little children and wants them to believe him and follow him. And if you love God, Jesus, God will be with you, just like he was with Joseph. So that was our first story about Joseph. And we're going to pray now. So let's put your hands together, close your eyes, and we're going to pray to God. Dear God, thank you for Joseph. Thank you that Joseph points us to Jesus. Help us to be like Joseph. Help us to love you and obey you and do things that please you. Even though we're young, help us to understand that we can love Jesus. Amen. Right, now, I'm hoping that you're going to do something at home over this week. And maybe you can send me some pictures. And you've got a choice. I've drawn two pictures. This one shows Joseph and his two dreams. You've got the sheaves of corn bowing down and you've got the sun, moon and stars. And you can colour it in. And I thought maybe that if you were younger or if you don't like drawing, you could do that. But maybe if you're a bit older and if you like drawing your own pictures, Here's one with just Jesus, Joseph's dream bubbles so that you can draw what you remember that Joseph dreamt about, the sheaves of corn and the sun, moon and stars. And it would be really good if you could do that colouring and if your mum or dad could take a picture of it and email it to me. If you want to know my email address, you can send me a message on this page and then next week I can show them to you.
I thought it would be nice to maybe stick some of them up on this wall because this wall's really blank and boring and it would be nice to have some pictures up on there. And just to show you what I mean, I've done one. And I'm not I'm not very good at drawing, so I decided to do the colouring because I like colouring. So I've coloured in the sheaves of corn all going around and the sun, the moon and all of the stars. And then I coloured in Joseph and I used lots of different colours on his coat because Joseph had a multicoloured coat. So that's something that it would be really nice if you could do over the next week. Right now, I think we've just got time for one last song. And it's a song that I know that the children who were going to the the Daily Bread Children's Edition at Lausanne, at Lausanne Free Church, I know that they know. So if you've been doing that, then you'll know it too. And it's Jesus Loves Me, This I Know. And it go, the first verse goes like this. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. And it goes like this. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so, little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me, he who died. Heaven's gate to open wide. He will wash away my sin. Let his little child come in. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. So, thank you very much for joining me for this Saturday Club for Children. And I look forward to seeing you next week. We'll be learning more about Joseph. And if you want to send me your pictures, that would be really, really nice. And um, I'll be back the same time, the same place, nine o'clock. Not sorry, not half past nine. Oh, nearly had to get up early there. Half past nine next Saturday morning. That's UK time. That's half past ten if you live in Europe. I look forward to seeing you then. Bye bye. <laughs>